What's going on guys, Nico here. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one secret way to make your melody more sexy. Now you may say, what exactly is that gonna be? Let me play you an example of a song that I've been writing for a while now and show you how I spice up the melody a little bit. So this is how the melody was, how it first was. Now we wanna make it a little bit more sexy. This is what we do. Now you got that jazzy feel to it and what we're gonna do and by the end of this video is you're gonna be able to take a melody that you may have right now and add this element that just spices it up a bit and you can use this very sparingly. You don't have to use it all the time but I will promise you that if you use this, you're gonna definitely captivate the listener's ear. So with that being said, let's get to work. A quick announcement before I jump in, I'm giving away a free piano lesson. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, comment down below piano mastery and I'll be selecting one winner at the end of every week. And if you're a music producer, make sure you check out the free MIDI packs down below in the description. I have chord progressions from the top artists in the world and they've all been recorded on my piano. So the MIDI sounds real. Now, with that being said, let's get into this melody spicy trick that I'm gonna be using and you'll be using by the end of this video. All right, so let's first go into our seven notes in the key of C. So we break it down here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the jazzification tone what we're doing to get it is we are just sharpening the D. So we're going up a half step, up a semitone right here, up and to the right. Or we're taking the E and saying it's an E flat. So we're going up and to the left, take a semitone down. So really this is so simple because let's say you're playing this melody starter. Um, five, one, two, three. So it's basically a cluster chord inverted and you're playing it up. And if you don't know what a cluster chord is, check out my piano cheat codes PDF where I show you how to create these types of chords. And then let's play this chord progression right here. So it sounds good, but let's, we have an E here, so let's flatten our E and play it like that instead. So here we go. And I'm just playing around a little bit, but you see what I'm doing. I'm going back and forth between playing the E natural and playing the E flat. So what is this good for? How can we use this jazzification tone, what I call it, the sexy tone that really brings out that twang, that really fine sound? So what we can do is we can play. And what makes it even better is that I'm grace noting. I'm playing a quick repeat note. So there's two different types of repeat notes that we can play. We can play the one right before the note. So I call it a repeat note. It's known as a grace note, but I'm calling it a repeat note because you're basically repeating the note before you play it. So here we go. Or, 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 you can do this with a lot more notes, right? But again, the reason why this note sounds first off good is because you don't normally have a flat like this in your song. So if you just play. See that? It's just a really quick. So if you're drawing in notes, just draw a note right before. It doesn't have to be on the grid, but just right before. And again, this works for any key. So I'm just playing in the key of C major. Let's say we're playing in the key of G major, for example. These are the notes in the scale. So I just go to the third note and I flatten it. So. Right? 
So what are some good melody starters that we can use to combine with this? So the first one's gonna be the five, six, eight, and I talk about this a lot on this channel. And you can go from the five, six, eight to the one, two, three. And instead of the three being the three that it is, you go down like that. Or you just do it, or. So this is a quick video, but this one note can really make the difference in your melody and can really help it stand out. And a lot of people hear it, but they don't really know what's going on. Now, if someone said to you, hey, I'm playing in the key of A minor, how do I find this note? Well, look, I don't like doing scales in minor. I like keeping everything with the major scale. So assuming they said A minor, just lay these notes out, lay the C major notes out and say, okay, I flatten, you know, if this is the case, I'm flattening the E and that's it. You're flattening the third in the major scale. That's that's literally the bulletproof formula to this. Just go like that and you'll be good to go. And again, this jazzification tone, you could actually use it in chord progressions. I'm just thinking about this now. You can use it in chord progressions too. Let's say we're playing an F major chord. Now it doesn't sound that good in chord progressions, but if you're making some kind of orchestral video game like music, there was a game that I played way back in the day called RuneScape that actually used uh, this exact, I think this chord progression, it's like. It was a game I played for way too many hours. I probably should have been playing piano or producing music at the time. But point is, you can also use this flat and third in chord progressions. Most of the time, it's not gonna be great for your pop, dance music, R&B, hip hop, but it's good for like a video game that has some weird moments in it, right? That's probably what I'd say it'd be more useful for. That being said, that concludes this video. You now know how to use this jazzification tone in your melodies. You can also use it in your chord progression. So I want you to walk away with this video, uh, knowing how to use it, knowing that can, you can use repeat notes going into it as well to make your music stand out. So if you found value in this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, hit the notifications bell, and let me know in the comments what else you guys wanna learn, what you're trying to accomplish, anything else that I could be of help for you. And again, I have all the free MIDI pack downloads down below the piano cheat codes. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, comment down below Piano Mastery. Again, every Friday, I am selecting a winner from the comment section. With that being said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.